is an absolute pleasure to see you again or perhaps meet you for the first time. Hello, I'm Dakota, shake my hand. Today I'm going to be teaching you one of my most favorite things in the whole entire world. Well, not necessarily teaching because you probably already know how, but that is picnicking. Recipe for the perfect picnic, in my humble opinion, as someone who is considerably well-versed in picnics. I also just learned how to knit literally yesterday, so I'm kind of addicted at the moment and cannot stop so even whilst I'm doing this introduction I'm going to be knitting. I'm not the best at knitting considering I taught myself yesterday so don't look too close and judge it. I just want to make like something to mark my beginning of knitting time and I want to wear it you know as a little keepsake. I'm trying to infuse all of my love into it. This is, this is not about a picnic, let's talk about picnics. I have my windows open and so you can hear the street aka babies crying and cars driving past but I think that adds to the summer experience. I mean it still is summer in England, I mean the dregs of it at least. It's been a considerably cold summer, much to my dismay. But today is the first warmish day in a while so we're going to make the most of it and go on a picnic together. With my friends also, you can come join us. I love picnics. I love summer picnics, I love spring picnics, I love autumn picnics, I love winter picnics. One thing about me is I'm going to go outside with some food and an activity and sit on the grass, no matter the weather. <laughs> I suppose this video is me talking about what I like to do for picnics and if you need inspiration for picnics, here you go. This is your sign to have a picnic. You can do it solo, you can do it with friends. That's the amazing thing about picnics. You're literally just sitting outside. <laughs> I suppose step one is who, and that's whether it's yourself or some friends or who cares. Step two is where, and that's entirely up to you. When I was a kid, I used to picnic in the backyard, and that was still just as fun as getting trains to the beach or driving somewhere beautiful or going on a little hike. I'm blessed to live in a particular area of London where I live next to a great, big, beautiful park and so I will be picnicking there today. When I first moved to London, I moved to an area that didn't, didn't have that many parks nearby. I had a tiny little patch of green on the corner of where I lived and so I'd go there every day and picnic no less. And it was literally like a, like a five by a five square meter patch of grass and I'd just sit there every day with my book and my clementines. <laughs> the next step is what? And that is, what are you doing? What will you bring? That's where I'm here to help. But before we go into that, I would like to have a quick word about today's incredible sponsor, Squarespace. I've worked with Squarespace many times before and I love Squarespace because it is a platform that makes creating and maintaining websites simple and fun which is perfect for passion projects turned professional. It's perfect for anything from online stores to blogs to things that are very helpful and I'm in the midst of redesigning my own website. If you know me you know that I am a perfectionist, much to my own detriment, but what I love about Squarespace is it makes this process so easy and I am in full control. The fluid engine design system from Squarespace means it's never been easy for you to unlock your creativity. I can play around with elements like email campaigns, member areas, appointments, custom merch, I could keep going. It's so simple and so worth it and so important when it comes to having a presence and it's also just fun to design and play with. You can go to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch your own website go to squarespace.com slash Dakota Warren and save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. This is the fun part so let's talk more about this. This is what to bring and this is entirely subjective as towards what you're planning on doing so this is what I'm going to bring and perhaps you can take some inspiration from me also a little more context I'm meeting friends there so they're gonna be bringing things too so I'm not gonna to need to bring everything for myself for example glasses or cutlery and things like that because that's being bought by someone else so Make a little note of what you're doing and what you need. This is what I need. Something to sit on. I mean, you can go, you can raw dog the grass if you like, but I get bitten a lot. So I like to have one of these bad boys. And this is just a random throw blanket that I thrifted. Another fundamental that you cannot possibly skip out on is food. And if I'm going alone for a short period of time, I'll just bring a clementine or if I'm going alone, for a while I'll bring some cookies or I'll get a sandwich or something but if I'm going with friends that's a real fun part because you can all kind of bring different things and make this really fun 
giant charcuterie board or giant smorgasbord of bits and bobs that everyone wants to bring. My job today was to bring baked goods, so I baked scones. <laughs> very cutely. I think I've packaged them very cutely at least. You see this guns in the bottom. Just because I uh, I <laughs> I think that's cute. And then there's two in each and there's I think there's like five or six of us going anyway so it's perfect. I don't mean to keep on showing red things. Well, I suppose I do. I like the color red so everything's gonna be red but I mean everything also just happens to be red. I for the scones. <laughs> I usually prefer clotted cream with scones, clotted, 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 clotted cream, that's a tongue twister, clotted cream supremacy, uh, this is dairy free whipped cream though because dairy free clotted cream does not exist because one of our friends is severely lactose intolerant and jam, of course, this is my favourite brand of jam except for the Gales rose one is really good but this is just a strawberry and wild strawberry concept. <laughs> I put my blueberries in this little glass container just because it fit them so perfectly. Another non-negotiable is water. I don't need to show you my water bottle. You know to bring water if you're going to lay in the sun for a while, wherever you are. Bring water. If you're snacking and you need any kind of container to drink from or eat from, bring one of those <laughs> container. I have a chalice that I usually bring with me when I picnic just because it's fun and I am all about the visual appeal as well as the <laughs> physical appeal of picnicking so I bring this but I'm not bringing this today because my friends are bringing cups. I also have a very special plate that I bring picnicking now. This is kind of exclusively my picnic plate at this point because I love it so much and it fits everything and if I bring fruits it can hold the fruits and it can hold the seeds and it can hold the pips and if I bring if I bring sandwiches that holds <laughs> the crusts, I eat the crust, that was an example. <laughs> I usually bring just regular silver cutlery, but my friend left behind a bunch of <laughs> these at my house last time he was here, so this is what we're working with today, just because I need to use the mob, so cutlery. Bottle opener if you're like me and like a cheeky boozy picnic which is more or less English culture at this point. I have two random uh, little hacks, one probably a lot more helpful than the other, and that is to always bring a little rubbish bag. I try and be as low waste as possible when I picnic because I don't want to bring rubbish and have the risk of having to chase after it because of the wind and whatnot, but you know, sometimes it's unavoidable. It's also really good to have when I do an impromptu swim because there's a pond nearby and I like to jump in it. And this is my wet clothes. <laughs> a little tip for food as well that I use when I'm picnicking, or just in general, is I always keep my jars after they're used and I fill them with other stuff. And so little jars like these are perfect to fill with snacks. This is the potential for another hack. I don't know if it's a hack because this is probably, again, general knowledge. I'm really getting ahead of myself thinking I'm innovative here. I'm an entrepreneur picnicker. <laughs> But I just make a little fun drink in a jar so I can bring the jar and then use the jar. Uh, I like to drink my matcha or my coffee, but I like to drink it in the sun, so I'll just bring it in a little jar. This is also like an 
inside scoop on how I make my matches at the moment. I measure with the caps and so I get a cap of maple syrup. The good kind. This is coconut milk. <laughs> I put a cap of maple syrup. I have my matcha. We spilt it. And this is my special matcha you can bring. I've got, um, I love how my entire life is. <laughs> I love how my entire life is more or less built around <laughs> picnicking and activities and fun. This is a metal straw and sometimes I bring these but usually I just drink it from the jar. The next for me personally is another non-negotiable fundamental, but we're now bordering into the activities uh, region of picnicking and you can do whatever the hell you want, but I think journaling is simply essential. Look how pretty this journal is. Isn't it gorgeous? Because I am insufferable, I usually have my quill and my red ink when I journal, but it's a little bit harder when you're on the go, so I have this very convenient quill pen. It's literally just a pen focus. <laughs> this is a non-negotiable. I don't care if you don't think this is fundamental. This is fundamental and if you picnic without bringing a book, you're insane. Bring a book. Any book, bring a book. Because there's nothing quite like laying in the grass staring up at the clouds with a book. <laughs> oh. For the remainder of the activities, you can do anything you want to do. Some examples of what I'm bringing because I'm with friends and want to be doing lots of things. I'll bring my tarot deck. I'm going to be bringing some watercolours with a sketch pad. My new hobby at the moment. <laughs> I literally bought some yarn and needles yesterday because I walked past the craft store and thought, ooh, this is another fun way to keep on avoiding everything I'm meant to be doing, like editing my novel. So <laughs> I've been knitting and I've knitted this much. Don't look at it. It's my first ever knit. I knitted that much last night while I watched Scarface. <laughs> Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> if it's sunny, you know the drill. No hat, no play. And so I have my little hat. But I can't decide if this one looks better. Or my big hat. Another fundamental non-negotiable is a pair of sunglasses if it's a particularly sunny day because when you are laying on your back and staring at the clouds, you do want to protect your retinas. And you can also look very cute while you do it. <laughs> now this is how I like to pack for my picnics and this is obviously totally different for everyone depending on what you have and I don't think I'm necessarily as practical as one could be because I enjoy the finer pleasures in life that tend to forget comfort like visually beautiful things uh, like I will I will break my back carrying around a basket rather than a backpack just because I like the look of a basket but you know this part is entirely up to you I'm just folding up my blanket and this doubles up for me because my basket is uh, wire, gold wire, and if I put things in this it will stay but the little things like pens and stuff will fall out so I like to line it with the blanket. I'll show you what I mean. <laughs> like this. Do you know what I would love? I'd love to be small enough to sleep in that. This would be so good. Imagine being a cat. This would be so good. 